Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is DIY with Jeannie and I am Jeannie and today we are going to be using these color your own ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree and we are going to be making some spring ornaments for the tree that is in my classroom. It was a holiday tree for Christmas and Hanukkah and it is currently a Valentine's slash St. Patrick tree and this will be our Easter spring tree. So I got the chicks and the bunnies and what I'm going to do with some of them is take napkins. These napkins that I, so I don't know where I got them, but I try to spend no more than a dollar a package and a lot of times I'll just pick up clearance napkins and throw them in my box because you never know what you can do with them. And what you do is you, basically it's like um, Mod Podging them down. I'm just using watered down glue because that's what I have. And this one you'll notice the scorch marks on it. Yeah, that's a learning curve on my part. But, but, <coughs> but I'll show you another way to do that. Sorry. So what I did on this one was I did one side, burn it off, did the other side, burn it off, and I think that caused it to get a little too much soot and so we don't want to do that but I do like the black edges so I do want to burn it because I like that it leaves the edges black like this so this time we're going to try the rabbit we're going to use a different napkin on it my this one had a company name and everything on it and I'm hoping you guys don't but that made it a bit of a problem so what we do is we take our napkins You rip your way into the package. If you do it like most people do it, you use your teeth. And I know that's not good for them, so please don't. Well, go ahead. My husband's always like, would you not use your teeth? You've got scissors right there. And I'm like, yeah, well. All right, so you're gonna unfold the napkin. And napkins are generally two, sometimes three plot. And so you've got this white layer inside, but we don't want that white layer. So we're just gonna peel this out. Now, I saved this because it's white. I can use it sometime in the future and then when I need a white napkin. So we're going to hang on to that. Here is our one ply. It's got butterflies and flowers. And so I am going to take my watered down glue. When I first brought this lid over here with just water in it, April thought it was for her and so she decided to drink part of it, which is fine. But, you know, Heaven forbid, poor thing has no water. I just kill her all the time. Poor thing mistreated, you know. Has two dog brothers that she hates. Well, a brother and a sister, because one of them's wrong. Although, does that matter when they're fixed? I just, you know, sometimes I just, anyway. So we're gonna take and put our napkin down on that glue. I'm gonna take my stencil paintbrush and I'm just going to go back over the top so I make sure that all of it is placed down really well and you can see the outline now. Now since I'm going to be using the same napkin what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it real quick add more glue and do the other side at the same time. And I am an impatient thing, so I dry it with my heat tool, which I'm going to do, but I will turn the camera off. But I'll show you how that works. But you could just leave it to dry. And that's her sister that you hear in the background. Someone is on her planet walking through her street, and we cannot be having that kind of nonsense going on. There we go. So we've got it all done. I'll show you the, the heat tool I do. It's an embossing tool. It's always been called an embossing gun. So this is it. And you can get them from, yeah, embossing heat tool. And you can get them at any craft store. If you have a stamping up dealer, they sell them. 
I honestly, I will be honest with you, I got this on eBay in a lot of other embossing and scrapbook tools about 20 years ago and it's still working. So once you get one, they last forever. So I will dry this real quick and be right back. We are dry. We are all dry now. It is nice and warm. So let me, here's my scissors. And I am just going to cut off a lot of the excess. That out of the way. So there we go. Take our lighter and we just want to burn off all of that extra. Now, you'll see what I did was when I let it, when I turned it upside down, the soot got on it. So let's, let's see if we can get them off. Yeah, not all of it. Got to figure out a way to do that to where it's not. sure keep that flame to the top. You see how I'm doing this? Because we don't want it to burn towards the wood, which is what I did before. Which is the bad part. I'm just going to go in and make sure we get all these little pieces. Part, that's where I had flipped it over and was letting it burn upwards and that is a no-no so what I'll do is I'll just figure out a way to fix that one area whether that be to add a little paint which I can do or let's let's have a little fun with it let's add some embossing And this is clear. Hope it'll work well. On your side with the just stamping it into it. Now close that for a minute. I'm gonna move this over here. I think you can still see it, but you won't get the really loud sound. See, it's not that bad. But what we do is we're just heating it up. And what happens is it kind of turns glossy. And it does leave it a little black. So I'm gonna add a little color to that. see I'm not really happy with that so what I'll probably do is add ink to it see how it leaves that glassy effect to it and that's a lot of fun so let's we'll just keep working it until we get a place where we like it but that is the idea so I'll have 
Chicks and bunnies. What's there? Chicks and bunnies on my little tree and they are nice and floral and can be used throughout the spring and hopefully I won't have to redo it until school starts again next year. So that is today's. I hope you liked it. It's not very long today, but you know, it's just real quick, Mod Podge and then burn the side off. Just remember, burn with the flame upwards, not flip it over and have it burn like that because it will char the side of your wood. And that was not what, that was not my intent. So I um, hope we both learned a lot from this and I hope to see you again next time.